Mr. Millennial, it's a big day at the old Derby Market. Yes. The rumor is we're gonna get some pavement on the old parking lot. All right, not to go too far back into time, to give you guys a little bit of history here, because you guys ask all the time. This used to be an old rock quarry. That used to be the old scale house, which eventually turned into my construction office, which eventually turned into an apartment where my cousin lives. Still got the sign on that says Simon Harris Construction. We shut down the construction business. I kind of moved over to the side over there and built the building and used that. But the family also built, operates, and maintains the Derby Market here, which is the market that serves the small little community of Derby. We actually have a bunch of rental cabins here. And we got the scenic highway. Even a bunch of you guys, your YouTubers, uh, viewers, subscribers, stop by and say hi, which is absolutely awesome. So over the last couple of years, we always try to do a little bit of improvement to the facility. Last year, we poured the uh, patio over there on the side. Uh, a couple years before that, this used to be all gravel. We actually put asphalt millings down. And uh, I got a complete video on the channel of putting these millings down. And you guys can see, we have not maintenance these millings at all since we installed them about three years ago and there's a lot of traffic that comes and goes this is the worst of it right here got just a little bit of a wash coming in here off the road but it's not bad at all but anyways this year's improvements is we are going to pave part of the parking lot the goal is we're going to pave from the concrete right here where the pumps are at all the way down to the end of the porch basically straight across right here the entrance will not be paved yet because we're still not for sure what the long-term plan is and what we're going to do. And, uh, well, the funds just ain't quite available for that. So, company's going to be here later today to uh, kind of prep all this. Remember, we put these millings in here. If you guys go back and watch those videos, we spent a lot of time making sure we got this grade just right so everything drains that direction, keeping water away from the store. It has worked absolutely excellent. So, I have stressed to the paving company that I expect no less from them to maintain the same drainage. They said they got it under control, they want to do their own grade work. So I'm like, alright, go for it. But, one thing we have to do is we actually got these rocks in front of these posts for impact barriers. Uh, just to keep people from hitting the poles and they have worked good because the rocks have got hit several times. This is pretty cool. This is from the old rock quarry. That's where they actually drilled to bust or drilled to blast. So, but, you look at your cold this morning. I'm cold. It's not that cold out here. Not that cold. I'm just cold. <laughs> so we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get these few rocks moved out of their way. I'm not sure what time they're gonna be here to do all their prep work. I'll try to get some video of it if I can. Then they're actually coming first thing in the morning to pave it, and I'm gonna do my best to get some video of that. So let's see what happens. All right, here's rock. He's batting a thousand this morning. Oh, nope, not batting a thousand. <laughs> now he's only batting what? See, four, lost one. That's 250 of a deduction. You're batting average 750 now. Well, Mr. Millennial, you want to take any bets who's going to hit the poles today, the 12 hours we don't have rocks in front of them? Um, 
Well, I know it's not gonna be this guy. <laughs> I got a feeling it'll be somebody. People never cease to amaze well, me. Well, here's so. the part that's interesting about that comment. No one's ever hit the rocks. Oh, yes, they have. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Them rocks have destroyed a lot of bumpers. <laughs> Well, I'd sit right there in those rocking chairs and watch it happen. Oh, so. oh people hit the rock. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so basically we're going to turn this over to the contractor's hands coming in to do it. Obviously, you guys know we don't do paving, so we had to hire this part out. They're, uh, I believe they're actually going to bring in a small little milling head on a skid steer and kind of uh, use these millings, critique them a little bit. They're actually pretty close. We're going to go with, I believe, three inches on this. So they're going to shave down up next to the building a little bit to get that profile to continue to keep everything to uh, drain out that way. I would love to stick around and get some video of that. And there's a chance we may come back for lunch and try to get some video of that. But unfortunately, we got to go to work. So uh, I'll at least get you an update at you the end of the day. You tell them the truth either. What's that? You have done paving. It's called Redneck Paving Video on your channel. Well, it was Millings. It doesn't matter. You're still <laughs> Redneck true. Paving. So. So, like I said, there's a video on the channel of putting these buildings down. They've held up pretty good. Held up really good, actually. Yep. All right, we gotta go do something. We'll be back. Well, just rolled back in here to the lot at the end of the day. These guys have got everything kind of milled out and looks good. Kind of eyeballing everything. First off, I love how they got that exposed across the front there. Full three, three and a half inches up against the concrete. We had a few companies come in here and quote this. They were just gonna pave right on top of what we did. They weren't even gonna do any work at all. Looks like they got that corner draining diagonally across to this corner. A little bit different than what I done. I kind of had a little ridge around there keeping that water up, but I think that'll still work fine. The main thing is we just don't want that water coming off the highway and uh, running across our pump pad or anything up front here. One huge, huge, huge advantage we got here over a lot of other places is this base is as solid as solid gets. This rock is almost six feet deep here. Keep in mind, like I said before, this was a rock quarry. And this is where they loaded out all the trucks. So the chances of this base uh, failing or pumping are pretty much slim to none. That's why our millings have held up so well. So if we can get a good three inches of asphalt on this, I think we're going to be good for a really long time with no more traffic than what we got on it. So looks good uh looks good to me got one little random ridge out there i don't quite like i think they'll get mad if i go out there and adjust the form tweak it tweak it just a little bit but uh all in all i think it's gonna do the tricks definitely gonna be definitely gonna be nice maybe one day we will uh look at doing this other section over there but as you guys probably well know asphalt is not all that cheap so we gotta do what the budget will allow and this will definitely be definitely be a nice little improvement so boys are supposed to be back in the morning to lay some asphalt down i'm going to try to get up get down here get some video of it watch her lay in place and we'll see what she looks like all right guys it is officially the next day the paving crew has rolled in they're going to get the subgrade rolled out here real quick double check all their grades make sure everything's sloping the right way and we're going to throw down some black paint on this thing well they are we're going to watch like I was saying yesterday, one thing nice about down here is we got an unbelievably good base. Get them last few millers rolling in, it's definitely not gonna hurt anything. Hopefully this will make for a really nice parking lot for many years to come for the old market. Them guys use the old foot rake too. It's hard to beat the old foot rake. Tell you what, these guys got a fairly nice setup. Been uh, really impressed with them so far from the uh, bedding process to the prep work. Guess the real trick will be see how the uh how the asphalt looks but it's definitely not a fly by night operation that is for sure see the uh basics of how a 
paper works here. The truck backs up, the paper actually pushes the truck, it rolls on those back tires. Obviously it goes on the hopper, you got your drag chains to pull it back underneath. What you guys will see operate here in a little bit later is the screed. Down there there's actually an auger. It takes it left and right. You guys can see it spinning right there. These guys run back here is what they call the screws. That's how they basically adjust their grade and their pitch to make sure everything's sloped and uh, going the right way. That's a pretty new setup there. It's officially go time, guys. They got the uh, paper lined up. First truck is backing in. They're laying out the mass fall. What they did is he backed up and ran a little bit out of the bottom of the paver there. And they'll shovel it back. That'll give him a place to set the screed down on. Take off the way that screed works. He's got to have a little bit of the front of it to start pulling. So it makes it like it's good and hot. So that's definitely good. Should uh, roll in and look nice. This is probably going to be their a little more of a tedious pass going right down along the edge of the uh, concrete over there. So. Three inches is what we're going for. Get a nice little pad built there. Made a little more, they said. That screed is heated down there, so now they've got that pad built. They'll uh, set that screed right down on that pad, alter some asphalt back. They're going to be off to the races here. This one here's all got all digital readouts, and it'll basically tell them which way that screech pitch. They know which way they're throwing the water. Obviously, the ultimate goal is to keep the water away from the building. They've also got them a line painted down through there, so they kind of know which which way they're going.
slow down. there is going to be the end of the first pass. We'll back up and do it all over again. We should be able to reach it from there. how much that asphalt moves underneath that drum but it definitely gets it compacted in there tight which is what they're looking for i'm gonna make an assumption here but he's rolling with no vibration now just kind of getting it all bonded together as it kind of sets up and cools off i'll probably come back and hammer it in a little tighter in places they need to got their second start pad built Get it back up and where they go. Are you supposed to be farming and not inspecting? Oh no. Hey, I hauled payment for three years, so I know a little bit about what's going on here. <laughs> I'm sure they'll love to have your opinion from a truck driver. Truck driver will know everything. <laughs> Alright, pool number two is well underway. Kind of fix a few little imperfections there from their start.
Good, just like that, another pass done. All right, lining up for the last pass over there. You know those last two blended together. You can't even tell where they were at. They got it blended together so nice. Really looking good. the test of how good a job they did is whenever it rains and how well it drained but just kind of sitting here eyeballing this I think we're going to be in pretty good shape I don't have a whole lot of concerns about it right here guys just gonna finish her off really nice I think it's gonna finish out good you kind of tell as he walks across there those lines continue to disappear they're actually even bringing some millings up from around back to uh, ease the transition from one end to the other got this last little corner done they got maybe three wheelbarrows load of asphalt left over so their grade must have been spot on their depth must have been spot on they absolutely nailed it pretty pleased with the way it looks so far so We'll let these guys finish up. I need to get on down the road to another job. We'll come back here and see what it looks like after the uh, final roll. And then uh, when it's all said and done, we got to get our rocks back, and this project will be complete. But Definitely going to be a nice improvement for the old market. Maybe if we hit the lottery, we can afford to do the rest of the way out to the road. guys next morning after paving and you guys can see it looks amazing we actually even got some rain last night everything drained awesome it even drains better than what our concrete does over there very 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 happy with it, it looks really good we're actually uh, gonna go ahead and get a price on doing the rest of the way out to the road there not sure if we can afford it or not but we will find out last thing we need to do is get our impact barriers aka rocks back in place Hopefully we can do this without scratching the new asphalt, and then uh, this job will be complete. So, think this is gonna work? Not where you have it right now. <laughs> <laughs>
it square up. Looking. There you go. That one looks real good. Ooh, boy. I mean, why not pick the hardest one to get to? Huh? He says, because it's the prettiest. He's full of crap today. I mean, this one's just as pretty, but no, let's go for that one. Trying to get it right there at that focal point. Because if it gets too far forward, it's a struggle to get it off there. If it's too far back, it obviously tips over. <laughs> Let's see how long his shim, his shim of uh, regular stone lasts. We'll see if he makes it. I so hope I got that on film. <laughs> now it makes for an interesting retrieval. All right, I completely foobarred this last time. I got it grabbed a little bit different here. Now I went to get a shovel and a broom to clean up our mess a little bit. See if we can gently get this one into place now. Got my angle all wrong. Sun's trying to come out, that's a nice thing. if we can get this thing gently set down here. These were sitting in the millings and the rocks before we could kind of shim underneath them a little bit to make them sit level. Now they're sitting on this solid or solid asphalt makes it a little harder to Thank you, homie. All right, we got one more post left to do. I think I'm gonna go around back and get one of the prettier rocks again. 
We replace it with these since they're going to be out here and seeing some. All right, I think we found our candidate here. Let's see if we can get it picked up in a manner we can get it back off the forks later. Definitely a little nicer looking rock than what was there before. That looks awful dangerous, Mr. Millennial, but we'll go with it. See what happens. Hopefully we don't drop this one. Last rock. This corner to me. Okay. Ooh, yeah, right in line with the line. About the same gap off the post. Face, face is pretty close. Well, there it is guys, all the rocks back in place, park a lot in front of the store is paved, looked absolutely awesome, could not be happier with the way it turned out. The boys at uh, CNR Construction out of Corden did us a bang up job. Very, very pleased with everything from the bidding process to the actual install process and the finished product. They, uh, they knocked it out of the park. So hopefully we can round up some more funds, maybe get the rest of it paved here uh, next spring, but what's the old saying? Rome wasn't built today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. But make sure you don't miss out on what's coming up next. Consider subscribing. That way we can catch you on the next one. Later, guys.